Hi guys, Brian Scare Lion back with another video. And today we're going to be playing a little game, basically just called What Would You Do? Um, I've been given a lot of different scenarios, people asking what I would do in this situation, and I am going to go through my answers. So, with that being said, let's get into a few of them. Now, some of these are going to come from small YouTubers, so I will be shouting out channel names. But, uh, the first one that we've got actually comes from Ian. So, since I don't have a channel for him, here is a picture of Ian. He is going to kill me for doing that, but, oh well. His is, what would you do if you walked in on Tom going down on Susan Boyle? Truth is, I would probably run out of the room and puke. And it's not even for the fact that it's Susan Boyle. I would run out of the room and puke if Tom, if I walked in and Tom was gone down on Rachel Riley, for God's sake. It's my brother involved in a sexual act. There's nothing right in my head about that. The next one that we have is from Thomas. Uh, so, here's a quick picture of Thomas. Not many people might get that reference, but at least I know Thomas well. His is, what would you do if Barney, the purple dinosaur, started singing I love you while shoving nuggets up your ass? I don't really think that there's much that I can do. I would probably be locked up in a mental institution afterwards because I would be catatonic, probably sitting, rocking back and forth, saying, I love you, you love me. Because that would be one of the most traumatic experiences that I could ever fucking go through. I don't even want to imagine it. No, that, that it is fucked. The next one that we have is from Bout Kang. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I hope I've got it right. Uh, but their channel is the same name, Bout Kang. And their question is, what would you do if you were in Bird Box? Uh, I've not watched it, but I do know the basic premise of it. I have no bloody clue. The truth is, it's, I don't like to watch it because it sounds like just a crappier version of The Happening. The Happening was an okay film, I guess, but the whole premise behind it was just pure bleh. Lift up the blindfold and let it be over and fucking done with. <laughs> Plain and simple. They also had another question, what would you do if you had one week left to live? Catch up on TV shows? Drink? That's about it really. God, I have got boring aspirations for the day I die. If I knew the exact time, I'd probably sit with a glass of Jack Daniels just before, just before I go. Next question that we have is from Austin Chavez, and his channel is Austin Chavez. His is, what would you do if you reached 1 million subscribers tomorrow? I'd probably be sat wondering what the hell's going on. Um, truthfully, I, I'm not at that point yet. I don't deserve a million subscribers. I've got a long way to go. Uh, there are a lot of channels who do deserve it, I believe. But I feel like I want to earn it. So putting in all the time would be the best thing. I, I, I think I'd just be confused if I woke up with a million subscribers tomorrow. I'd be... Happy, obviously. Uh, who wouldn't be happy with a million subscribers? But, yeah, confused more than anything. Next one that we have is from, well, actually my favourite small YouTuber. It's Amy G. And hers is, what would you do if suddenly everyone in your country disappeared? Well, I'd probably ch be trying to get hold of anyone outside the country. Just to say, right, have you got a spare room? Because there's no way I'm waiting for whatever the fuck killed all these people to come and kill me off. That'd be the only explanation. Something's killed off every other cunt in the country. So, I'm the only one left. I'm the only one left to target. I'm getting out of there as quick as fucking possible. <laughs> so if you've got a spare room, let me know, because I need to be prepared. Next one that we have is from a channel called Purple Tomato Studios. And his question is, what would you do if you had superpowers? Ooh. Depends what kind of superpowers we're talking here. If, if we're going off yet and I'm allowed to pick my own superpower here, I'd probably pick strength in this situation and I'd use it to be able to get, <laughs> it sounds bad, I'd use it to be able to do all the menial jobs that I have around the house. You know the ones where it's like you're trying to clean up doing the side of a couch or something and yet the couch is that heavy that you kind of shift it out of the way so you can get everything or cleaning behind the fridge, things like that. I am boring as hell. The amount you could do with these superpowers and I'm picking a day of the shit that I can't be asked with. Okay, so the next one that we've got here actually sent me a few. So I'm going to pick out two of them 
and actually go through my answers from them. The channel that gave me them is M Living Art. And the first one that we have, uh, what would you do if everyone you knew suddenly disappeared? Uh, it's similar to the country one, but with this one, I'll give more of a serious answer. Um, I, I wouldn't cope. My biggest fear in the world is everyone leaving me. Everyone that I know and love leaving me. So I'd probably break down. That, that's the truth. My mind would just recede within itself. I would become mute. Yeah, I, that, that's the best answer that I can give. Yeah, it would destroy my head. And the next one that we've got is, what would you do if you were falsely accused of committing a crime? Well, the truth is, in school, uh, I had a reputation for being a bit of a troublemaker. So, a lot of the times when bad stuff had gone on and they didn't know who to blame, I was pulled in as, like, suspect or whatever. Um, and basically the only thing that you can do in that situation is try to do everything to prove your innocence. I think that's the only thing you really can do. Try everything within your power to prove your innocence. Either that or I'm off to jail and I best get ready to defend myself. Who are we kidding? I'd be fucked in prison. Probably literally. Next one that we've got is from, well, a channel regular. It's from Evan Smith Oveland. And this is, what would you do if Hagrid searched you out and told you, you're a wizard, Brian? Well, the only thing you can do in that situation. I'm a what? Oh God, that's a classic video. I, I love that video. Uh, if you told me I was a wizard, I'd probably be like, cool. When do I get my owl? I want my owl. Evan's channel name is E.T. Brothers. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Uh, I, it's E.T. Brothers. There you go. The next one that we have is from a channel called Missy's Enchanted Channel. What would you do if you were face to face with a genuine ghost? I'd probably be questioning whether or not it's a real ghost. Like, honestly, I, I, I'm one of these. I don't believe in ghosts. I'm pretty much a skeptic. If I had actually found out it was a real ghost, I'd probably brick myself knowing that there is an afterlife, and I'm probably going to end up in hell. Either that or I'm going to spend my days wandering around tormenting people. Out of the two outcomes, I think I'd prefer the second. So the next one that we have is from Dominique Van Kirkhove. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but he's given me a few. What would you do if all the vehicles in the world stopped working? Walk. That's a simple answer. Walk. I used to do a lot of walking. Like, I refused to use taxis back in the day. I refused to use the bus. These days, I still don't use the bus. Cramped space. A lot of people sense my anxiety a little. Next one that he has is, What would you do if all men named Brian were forced to live in Mexico and be sombrero models? Hey, that would be sick. That would actually be awesome. What do you do for a living? I, well, I'm a sombrero model. It's like one of the most unusual jobs you can think of. Oh, I love that one. I, I'd be over the moon. I would be over the moon and I would take my job very seriously. I wish I had a sombrero. Next one that we have here is from Alex Kearns. Kearns? Sorry, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. But his question is, what would you do if you got your tongue stuck in a fan cage. I'd be in pain, I'd be screaming. No, uh, the truth is, I would panic. I'm, I'm not one of these people who can stay calm and collected and go, right, what do I need to do to get out of here? I'm one of these people who will just sit and go, oh, help, it's in there. And is this fan going super fast? Because if so, it's literally just cutting up my tongue in it. So I'm literally just there with loads of blood pouring out. I'd probably end up passing out from the blood. And depending on how much blood loss, may even die. So the next one that we've got is from a channel called Yak Noodle, the official channel. Uh, he starts his off with, What would you do if your son was at home? Crying all alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry. And the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money. Um, it, it says two points <laughs> if you get the above reference. Uh, I, I can't think who sings it. But if I got this one wrong, Sophie would probably kill me because she's pl constantly playing this song. I actually think it may be her favourite R&B song. Not too sure, I'd have to double check where her on that. But I, if, if I didn't know what the hell it was, Sophie would probably kill me. So, there you go. Um, but his actual question is, what would you do if you woke up the opposite gender? 
Um, shield your ears, children, because the truth is, strum. It's the only. It's the only thing I can think of. Let, let's be honest. As a man, we are curious of how it feels. It's just literally curiosity, and plus, possibility of multiple orgasms. I would want to experience a lot of it. Sorry if that sounds vulgar. But it's the truth, it's pure curiosity. And the final one that we have is from a channel that, if I'm pronouncing it the way of PewDiePie's name, his channel name is Shellberg, because it's spelt the same. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I've put it up on screen anyway. What would you do if you were having your boss to dinner, a real make or break career dinner, and as he knocks on the door, you realise all you have in the fridge is a gallon of cottage cheese and half a banana. <laughs> very, very odd one there. I'd serve him cottage cheese and sliced banana, I guess. <laughs> That'd be grim. I'd, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of cottage cheese. That'd be grim as fuck. Oh, here's the cottage cheese. It's like a fucking dipping sauce for the banana slices. Oh, grim. Oh, correction, we actually have one more, and this is from, sorry, I'm going to say it how I see it, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Ketin Claudio, Cl Claudio, sorry, I'm probably offending you there, what would you do if all of a sudden everyone on the planet had lost their hair, and you're the only one not affected, uh, people would hate me, because either, if I don't have my hair dyed, I shave it, so either I'd be pissing people off by shaving my hair constantly. They'd be like, oh, you're the only one with it left. How dare you shave off all of your hair? Or I'd be dying it constantly and people would hate me because I'm the only one with hair. I, I think the most likely situation is I'd be shaving it off. Th this was a really fun idea. I'm glad I did it. Um, if you want me to do something like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below. Because I, it was really fun trying to come up with what I would actually do in these situations. And I, I like the weird ones. The weirder the better, always. Also, feel free to go and check out some of the channels uh, whose names were featured in this video. I hope you liked this video. And if you did like it, don't forget to buttfuck that like button. Please.